Hi guys, Liz here at ProjectBandy.com. Today, I am reviewing the latest Dior lipsticks for you. These are the Dior Stellar Shine lipsticks. I have four shades and I'll be swatching everything. More than that, I'll also be comparing them to the Dior um, Lip Glow. This is one of Dior's most iconic lip products actually. And you know, if you're looking for a tinted lip balm, this is one of the most recommended products out there. It's not cheap, but you do get that really fabulous, you know, shiny tint that's just comfortable to wear all day. Now, the Dior Stellar Shine lipsticks are cut from the same cloth as Lip Glow. They even have pretty much the same packaging, if not a little bit bigger. But otherwise, you know, they are not definitely not the same thing. They just came out in the Philippines, retail for $2,250. So they're definitely not a cheap proposition. Now, I want to let you guys know if this is worth the money or if it's just, you know, another splurge just going to sit in the bottom of your drawer. So before we begin the video, I hope you guys can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Project Panty Beauty. The subscribe button is right underneath. Please also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm Liz Lanuz on Instagram. I'm also Project Panty. Come there. And of course, please don't forget to read projectbanty.com for your daily dose of beauty. We'll see you there. Let's begin! First thing you need to know about the Dior Stellar Shine lipstick is that it is so similar to this one. This is the Dior Lip Glow. This is already a pretty iconic product. If you have tried the Dior Lip Glow, you'll know that this is more of like a lip balm slash lip tint. It's not quite lipstick because the tint is very weak, so to speak. But it's not just lip balm because it has that color. So I have here the shade called 007 Raspberry. I'm gonna apply this for you. This is the Lip Glow. So just so that just so you can see the difference between the Stellar Shine and the Lip Glow. So you'll see this is a very shiny finish. It does dry down a little bit and becomes more of a satin finish over the, as the day goes through. But you'll see that there is quite a nice color. And the nice thing about this is that the more you wear it during the day, it has more of a tint. It becomes a little bit pinker. And the more you apply it, the stain deepens. When I travel, I like bringing the Lip Glow around just because it's such a fuss-free color. It's just such a convenient product to have around, especially in cold weather. So definitely, this is one of my favorite tinted lip balms. Now, what's different between this and the Dior Stellar Shine? So you'll see that the packaging is actually quite similar. The Stellar Shine is just a little bit bigger. But with the Stellar Shine, this is actually more of a lipstick that's also a lip balm. Well, this is a lip balm that's sort of a lip tint. So, you know, it's one of those in-between products. Like, if you don't like full coverage lipsticks, then this is a really, really good product for you. Now, the Dior Stellar Shine promises 8 hours of wear. It promises 24 hours of moisture. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Definitely, this doesn't last for 8 hours. I would say, since it's such, it's more of a balm tint, I would say this lasts for about 2, let's say 3 to 4 hours, I think. That's very decent because it stains. It's also quite moisturizing. I wouldn't say that it's moisturizing for 24 hours because that is a bit of a stretch for me. Anyways, I want to swatch for you all the colors I have. I have four shades of the Stellar Shine here. And then I'm just going to do a quick swatch so you can see all the colors and I can give you my color notes as well. Okay, so for the first uh, Stellar Shine lipstick that we're going to swatch, I'm going to show you the 256 in Dior Rever. So Dior Rever is a really light sort of peachy color. And it looks like this. It has an ultra shine finish and a little bit of that shimmer, like that. So actually, this looks a little bit pale for my skin tone. I have a very warm, medium yellow skin tone. So this is a little bit pale for me as a color by itself. I wouldn't recommend it for those who have more of a morena skin. Because it does have that milkiness to it, which is not really a good idea. But still a really pretty shade. Definitely, it does have like some silver shimmer that I can see with my naked eye. Really pretty. The next shade I have for you guys is, is 863D Sparkle. So I'm just going to apply it. You can see. This is a pink color with multi-dimensional shimmer. Like I would say it has blue shimmer. It has pink has silver it's just so nice i mean this is one of my favorite lipsticks right now just because of that pink color and i think it's really you know on point for this season the thing with the stellar shine lipsticks is that they glide on like butter like you just put them on and it practically melts onto your lips it doesn't feel waxy at all it feels like even a little bit oily on the lips but once it settles down that oily feeling passes and i think it's what really helps to sort of hydrate and moisturize the lips during the day 
So definitely recommend this for those with, you know, chapped lips, those who suffer from dry lips because this is such a comfortable lipstick, I swear. And, you know, it just stains so nicely. Okay, so just removing the sparkle. You can see a lot of leftover shimmer on my lips because this one is definitely loaded with sparkles. The next shade that I've got for you guys is 673 Dior Charm. So this is what it looks like. This is a reddish lipstick. Not quite a full red or a retro red even, but just a really, really shiny red. So I'm going to apply it so you can see what it looks like. This has the glassy finish because it doesn't have much of a shimmer at all. And that's what it looks like. So you can see that only a few swipes really gets you a good level of pigmentation already. Now I wouldn't say that this is a full coverage lipstick, although the pigmentation is there. This is more of a semi-opaque sort of lipstick. And I love how it brightens my skin. It does have that brightening effect even on my teeth. Because it's sort of like, a, I would say, orangey. That's a little bit of that orange tint, which, you know, helps to brighten my skin since I have a warm skin tone. Okay, look at that stain. So as I said, the color itself, the, the top layer itself will disappear if you eat or drink, but the stain, the thing that's difficult to remove, I would say. I saved my favorite for last. So my favorite shade out of the four that I have is called 891 Dior Celestial. Now, this one I've been wearing a lot. You know, I love plum shades in my lipstick. They're quite a bit high maintenance, so I don't wear them as often as I would like. But this one is a really nice um, plum color just because it's in that balmy formula. You know, it's very easy to apply. Let me show you. So this is the Your Celestial. You can use this like this. Like, you just have a nice soft stain. But you can definitely add coverage by adding more layers. I will do here. Now we're getting more of a deeper plum. And that's what it looks like. I mean, just look at that beautiful metallic finish. This has blue micro shimmer. I can see some green shimmer. I can see pink shimmer and silver. Now, normally, I'm not into metallic lip colors. I mean, they're good for a party, but not necessarily for every day. They're not something I would pick up on a normal basis but this one oh my goodness i just love the shimmer i love the texture so hydrating and again it does stain quite heavily this is the one i would say stains the most because it has a deeper plumier base so there is that nice stain left over in terms of the smell and the scent this has a vanilla scent it just smells like a light vanilla to me very lovely wouldn't say it's particularly mind-blowing but it's a nice inoffensive you know smell in terms of taste these lipsticks have a little bit of that sweet taste not very sweet just a little bit when you touch your tongue to it it's there so that is dior celestial verdict time <laughs> this is the hard part okay the thing with these products is that they are definitely special i have tried a few shiny lipsticks you know out in the market right now it's a trend sephora has one reblon has one um all of these brands have a version of the shiny lipstick trend but um, I would say that the Dior Stellar Shine lipsticks are different because they have the crazy shimmer, you know, that multi-dimensional, multi-colored shimmer that these other products don't have. You do get the shine, you do get that balmy finish and, you know, hydrating feel, but this kind of a complex shimmer situation is definitely unique to this brand so far that I've tried. Now, are these worth the 2,250 peso price tag? I think yes. If you are a fan of Dior, if you love, you know, the whole feeling of being part of the Dior brand, then definitely this is worth the splurge. However, if you are not into spending that much money for a lipstick, and that's totally fine as well, then there are some really nice ones out there that definitely won't cost this pretty a penny. What I say when I do review expensive products like this is that it's really up to you. It's really up to your budget. Some people are comfortable spending, you know, upwards 2,000 bucks for a single tube of lipstick. Some people are not. And you know, that's fine. Just go for what you feel great in. Go for brands that you like to support. Go for colors that make you feel great. I mean, that's really all that matters in the end. Yeah, I mean, go for it if you like it. And I think it's worth it. So, 
that's my review of the Dior Stellar Shine lipsticks. If you enjoyed my review, please, please, please do subscribe to my channel. Just hit the subscribe button right there. Please follow me on Instagram. I am Liz Nuzo there. I'm also Project Vanity Com on Instagram. And of course, read projectvanity.com for your daily dose of beauty. I'll see you around. Bye!